Today we are taking a look at an alternative to DAF's hope for finding chemical manipulators and other engineering materials. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Now, a couple of weeks back I was running a live stream where I was collecting materials for, um, for a new ship. Um, and I was looking specifically for chemical manipulators and so far Dav's Hope has always been my go-to place. Now, if you don't know of this place, I have a video up showcasing it. Um, you can see that here. Now, during the live stream, someone actually made me aware that there is another and potentially even better place for getting not only chemical manipulators, but a lot of other very useful materials that you might need for your engineering upgrades. And the place is this... Um, Nathan class tanger. It's a it's one of those mega ships that are um, that are in the game. And you can see it here. And uh, this tanger is um, located in the I can't remember the name of the system. Wow, that's going to be difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Okinura, Okinura, parent. Something like that. I'll put it in the description so you can see it down there. In this system, you go to um, to planet six, and around planet six, um, once you get close to it, you will see this tanger. It does not show up as a station because it's not really a station per se. It's more like a point of interest. But you can see it shows up here, the Nathan class tanger. Now, once you get here, you will notice you can see it on the radar. They have all these small um, items floating around as the white icons. Now, if we go to our contact panel. We can see we have high density composites, we have mechanical scrap, we have mechanical manipulators, oh, there, shield emitters, worn shield emitters, heat conductive wiring, salvage, all for final, lots of very useful stuff. And this stuff is just floating around here in space. Now, at Dav's Hope, we would often have, I think, eight different, up to eight or ten ish materials spawning per session, and you had to drive all around the base to actually see what they were, you could not see all of them at one point. Now, we're getting in this place, a lot more materials, I think, per session. Furthermore, you can see all of them at once. That means you do not have to drive around a surface base to see what's actually there. Instead, you just log in, you have a look, you see, oh, maybe you need your chemical manipulators. So you would go over and uh, and you would pick up your, your manipulators. Now, I already have all, all the manipulators I need for now, so I don't really need any of this stuff right now. But if I were uh, and I needed um, more stuff, and I'll, that's maybe the stuff that I was looking for wasn't there. I would just log out to the main menu and I'll jump into, let's say, a private session, for instance, which would spawn me back at the station. Um, and I would get a new set of materials available. And, I, and you could just keep keep, um, keep board hopping like that until you get the, uh, the materials you need. You can see here now we're back, and here we go, salvage and now all the stuff is now spawning. We have some chemical processes this time, more shield emitters, shielding sensors, grid resistors, conductive components, I mean, phaser alloys, refined focus crystals again. It looks like this thing also the same loot table if they use that in, in this game, I'm actually not sure, but it's the same set of materials available here as is available from Dav's Hope. Um, so I also put a list of that, I'll try to compile a list of all different materials that are available, and at least I have seen at this place. Um, and maybe some that I believe is here, but I maybe won't have to, because there's some of them that I know at that Hope, so I expect them to be here. Um, but anyway, it's a nice place that, that I think makes it very easy to find lots of different engineering materials. But keep in mind that even though I put the system name and the planet, it's planet 6, Again, this is a mega ship, so it will have the ability to move. That was the, the point of these. And and so far, it's it's in the system, it's been here for quite a while now. But in the future, this ship might move to another location. Maybe within the system, maybe to a completely different system. So if you come here and the ship is not here, go out to your favorite Elite Dangerous site and search up the information on this ship, where it's located, because there's a good chance that wherever the ship is moving, that you might be able to find the materials around it there. But for now it's in this location and I expect it to be here for quite a while. But anyway, that was a quick video. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even drop over on Discord and say hi with uh, both to me and all the other people over there. And if you want to support the channel, you can also um, have a look at my Patreon page where you can, uh, can support, um, support the channel and, uh, and help me increase the quality of the videos that I put out. 
So again, thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in Spanish.